I'm going to move on to this photograph. And the first thing that I'm going to do uh, before I move on to changing any other part of my photograph is I'm going to enable the profile corrections. When you enable the profile corrections, and you can actually also go to profile here and see that this, that this is another way to enable it. Um, you'll see that Lightroom has taken the metadata in my photo and uh, picked up what lens I shot this image with and applied a lens correction uh, to remove the vignette, which is, uh, it's kind of a shadow that you'll find at the edge of your photos. You can actually use vignettes creatively to add focus to your image, but a lot of the times wider angle lenses or even zoom lenses will have some heavy vignetting that Lightroom corrects for just to make your picture a little bit brighter. Uh, I'm going to disable this just so you can see the difference. So you can see that it's a little bit rounder and when I enable profile corrections, it has sort of straightened and uh, really made the photo a, a lot less distorted. You'll see at the top left part of this photo that I have some pink and green tones that don't really belong. This is called chromatic aberration. When you shoot at uh, apertures that are pretty wide or you're working with lenses that aren't super high quality, you will see that this becomes a lot more pronounced. So I'm going to zoom in and drag this right here. And I'm going to go to the color corrections section of my lens corrections panel. I'm going to enable remove chromatic aberration. And sometimes by simply clicking remove chromatic aberration, these colors, these hues will go away. But like with this picture, um, that obviously didn't do the trick. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more. The first thing I'm going to do is select this eyedropper tool and I'm going to drag it to one of the, the colors that I want to get rid of. And you'll find that the aberrations, the chromatic aberration usually happens along really high contrast areas. So this branch is very dark, the background is very bright. Uh, and so I'm seeing a lot of chromatic aberration. And the way that Lightroom deals with chromatic aberration, the way that it takes it out, is that it desaturates the edges. So I'm actually not seeing a brown branch here, I'm just seeing a gray branch because Lightroom has taken out the, the colors. And you can see right here that there is some color left, but the edges are completely desaturated. So you want to really watch out whenever you are correcting chromatic aberration um, along skin and uh, faces and uh, things that might have similar color tones to either this type of teal or green or, or this type of pink. Um, because what can happen is once you correct the chromatic aberration, the chromatic aber aberration will actually be gone, but so will part of the skin tone and it can look really unnatural. So I see that it has taken most, it has taken care of most of the chromatic aberration, but I'm still seeing some pink right here. So I'm going to put my eyedropper tool back and then I'm going to take this little handle and just expand the range of pink that Lightroom is trying to find along the edges. And you'll see that I don't see, I no longer see the pink that I was seeing before. And this is where you have to be careful because these tones can be very similar to skin tones, to certain skin tones. So you want to watch out and make sure that you are not uh, making skin look actually gray. And I'm also seeing some green chromatic aberration that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to take my eyedropper tool again. I'm going to hover over this. And it took care of some of it, but there's still a lot left. So again, I'm going to put it back and then drag this little handle to expand the hue to both sides and make sure that it is all gone. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now there's no chromatic aberration. I want to show you a quick before and after of the chromatic aberration correction and lens correction. So one of the things that you can do in Lightroom is you can go to one of these on and off switches that you will have all along the panels and you can toggle them on and off and see what your photo looked like without that adjustment and with that adjustment. So this is what the photo looks like with the adjustments and without the adjustment. 